Well, conceiving a child can be an emotionally difficult journey for some couples. Many do turn to in vitro fertilization. It's a celebration when it's a success. But for two California couples, that joy turned into heartbreak and confusion after an embryo mix-up and both mothers gave birth to the other's biological child. Mary Beth McDade from our station KTLA spoke to one set of parents who describe it as a, quote, truly impossible nightmare the baby that I fought to bring into this world was not mine to keep. Imagine carrying a child for nine months, giving birth to a beautiful baby girl, and then after caring for the child for months, realizing it's not your baby. Well, that's what happened to this LA couple, Daphna and Alexander Cardinali. It was torture that shook me to my core and forever changed who I am. The couple gave birth to the wrong child after their embryo was switched with another couple's during an in vitro fertilization treatment in 2019. Our memories of childbirth will always be tainted by the sick reality that our biological child was given to someone else. They began questioning if the baby they brought into this world was theirs when the baby had physical characteristics that didn't match either parent. So they bought an at home DNA test and confirmed their worst fears. Their newborn baby wasn't theirs. They had another couple's baby, and another woman gave birth to their baby. The two couples began meeting and spending time together, and eventually exchanged the children. When the truth came to light, it made exchanging the children all the more heartbreaking. <laughs> Losing the birth child that you know for the genetic child that you don't even know yet. It's a truly impossible nightmare that inflicted trauma. They're now suing Dr. Eliron Moore and the California Center for Reproductive Health, the embryology lab, which is owned by Moore, and the lab's parent company, Beverly Sunset Surgical Associates. Fertility disasters are becoming more commonplace. This case, this case highlights an industry in desperate need of regulation. The Cardinali say they will never recover from the emotional trauma. And I hope that CCRH and Dr. Moore see this. I hope they understand the damage that they caused. Mary Beth McDade, News Nation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.